If you don't know by now, we're going to remind you that Paige and her wonderful fiance Jason are getting married oh right here in our own backyard <laughs> on a very special Hall Hallmark primetime home and family special. It is airing here on Hallmark Channel the 22nd of June, 8, 7 Central. We're so happy about that. We're also overjoyed with the fact that the owner of Beautiful Day Photography, Laura Greer, is with us, and she is uh, going to be taking photos of their wedding day, and um, we're going to get into that in just a little bit. But I had a chance because yeah. they asked me to photograph their engagement photos. Yes, you did. So it was over the moon to do. Thank yeah, you for that. You were oh, welcome. you're so welcome. You're what so is welcome. your advice on getting the best engagement photos? Find a very good-looking couple. Okay, number one. We're madly in love <laughs> with each other. One. <laughs> Definitely helps. Okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, we spent the day. You know, I, I, my advice was, or the way I looked at this is, I saw their theme and that very rustic theme. Fortunately, we're right on. Western Street, and I explored a little bit, and I found this environment to work with wonderful textures. But at the end of the day, working with a couple is letting them be with each other and observing them and watching just how they interact. And that's when you're going to really find um, those those really sweet moments where you capture the emotion. Outside of that, as Laura will tell you, it's all about bending that light that's available and seeing what's there. And um, you know, finding a few props. We did bring in some props, which was important, I think, just to give a little bit of a, and of course, we couldn't remember which was Paige and which was Jason, <laughs> yeah. so we had to keep mixing, we mixing things up. Love it. But I also gave them a story. You know, we created a little environment outside the train, and Paige is so good about getting some little outfits together. And all I did was just tell them, here's your environment. Let's create a story and a mood. Not always look to the camera. You can spend time with each other. And that's how we got They're really wonderful photos, aren't they? I they have, captured the two of you I'm going to show you two that I, because I don't want to reveal all of them to you, but we do have a couple. First one I want to show you is one that I really felt you can almost like, they're almost like just in smelling each other's, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, look at that. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that sounded bad. The way. But you know, you just know, you know their skin, you know they yeah. smell, oh, yeah. you know their yeah. hair, whatever. And I really found that moment with you guys when you were together nuzzling. And then another one, as I walked the property, I saw something and I, I wanted to be creative. And this is Western Street, but I saw a saloon, but I saw something else as well. And a little Photoshop trickery, and we made it into a save the date. Ooh. And oh. switch things. Oh. So, um, wow, so Mark, that's that great. So just I know that, that environment that you're working yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you again. So sure. let me ask you, they're really wonderful, Mark. Thank I hope you're happy with it. But yes, Laura, it was fun. <laughs> it was. what's the difference between engagement photos and then the wedding photos? Well, kind of piggybacking what you just talked about, engagement photos you have a lot more time than you do on the wedding day to really get to know the couple and like run around you can change outfits and do props and it's really kind of a trial to, to all get comfortable in front of the camera and mm -hmm. have fun and let your personalities come out and just you know really let your Self shine and let yourself as a couple shine, and then it also makes you really more comfortable for the wedding day, um, because there's a lot of other emotional factors going on and family members there. And um, the wedding day photos are you're not going to have the luxury of having three hours to run around, so it's so helpful to do that first, and it makes everything so smooth on the wedding day. I've known them for a while, so I don't think there was a question whether it was a match for me working with them and vice versa. <laughs> but how would a couple know if there's a good match? Well, I always say that you have to find like your soulmate and your photographer, and it's not just a style. Like my style is very vibrant and colorful, and it doesn't speak to everyone. And you're looking at tons of websites, so their, their style has to speak to you, but also personality. Because honestly, your photographer is the person you see the most on your wedding day. You're gonna see me more than you see him. Yeah. Your whole family, everyone. I'm there. Like so I the better weekend. like you. You better <laughs> yes. like me. But it uh, also. She was the photographer for my best friend. She did all her family photos. And so knowing yeah. that Trevi loves her and she's my best friend, I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, she's in. Just Perfect. because, yeah. you know, from friends and family. So references. Can, right. it, I mean, that's really important because honestly, that's how everyone, you know, you find like-minded people when you're referred by like-minded mm -hmm. people. And then that's also a way to be a good fit. Well, let's, I want to look at some of your work and yeah, share okay. it with, that's because good. obviously it's, it's beautiful. Maybe you can tell us a little bit of what we're looking at here. Um, this is a gorgeous photo from Lake Tahoe, and it's funny because they were kind of upset that it was impending rain, and I thought it was so beautiful. It just made it so dramatic, and they ended up having the most gorgeous uh, sunset. It was like a rainbow afterwards, and they did get the rain. Right when they kissed and walked on the aisle, it started raining. It was like the sky opened up, and it was amazing. What, yeah. when, you, uh, when someone is hiring a photographer, is there a common mistake people make? Yeah, I think that people um, think that 
you know, if you have an expensive photographer and they don't have a budget, they'll go for a lesser expensive photographer. And sometimes there's hidden costs later on. Like some photographers make their money on albums and prints or they'll hold your negatives hostage or things like that. And so ultimately you're gonna end up paying double what you thought you were paying for in the end. So I would say that a big mistake would be to just make sure you know what you're what you're getting in your package. If you're getting your negatives, or you're getting all the things you're paying for and that you're not gonna pay a hidden cost later on. And also just make sure you see all of their work, not just their favorite 30 photos on their website. Ask mm -hmm. them to see an entire wedding, to see the entire story being told. Cause I think that's really important. And um, and, and you can really understand if they're like a match for yeah. you. How do you no, I was going to say, so you have to read the fine print because I know I, you see yeah. some albums, but a lot of people don't realize that it's if you want something more than that, it's going to, uh, like an 8 by 10 or you want to send it to grandma or whatever, it's, yeah. it's, it costs even more. And a lot of people are like, what? Yeah. You know, they don't understand. And then you start fighting and there's problems. I mean, for me, I think your last experience with your photographer should be having an awesome day on your wedding day and getting amazing photos. It shouldn't be like nickel and diming and having to pay right. for all these extra things later on. So I think you just have to make sure you're, you're there's not hidden costs and also just make sure that you know when they say they're gonna deliver your pictures that they're high res that you get them like within a couple months or a month from the wedding rather than a year some photographers yeah. hold them hostage and then make oh. you pay a lot oh. so.